Oh gang, Stone's in the kitchen. What's he gonna be fixing? What's he gonna be cook? Let's see, what are we gonna cook? Well, you ain't gonna find it in the book. But it does got some bacon. I'm stretch this little bacon out. Mrs. Stump is gonna help me. Uh, she's helping by filming this. Get all this stretched out here. You lay all this side by side, right? Mm-hmm. It's not all gonna fit, is it? I'm not just gonna have to overlay it, but put it closer together, too. Yes, ma'am. We'll do it. Uh, what's the time say on there? Point five. Minute. Point fifty five seconds. Huh? Yeah. Is it over a minute? Not yet. It is now. Okay. Laying this bacon out. Uh, just about got it. Gonna overlay it. Gonna cook this in the oven. Uh, let's see. And we'll be back in a minute. Yeah, turn TV on. Hi, right, gang. I got my bread here. This is that, I call it ciabatta bread that when I made that Cuban sandwich, it was kind of hard to chew. One of my subscribers said, if I fry, if I fry this and put what I want on there, It'd be easy to chew and cut it with a knife or whatever. So I'm gonna fry this bread. I just now cut it on, so I just want y'all to know what I'm frying. And uh, I'm gonna fry that, and then I'm gonna fry what's going on it, and we'll be back then. A few moments later. Well, gang, I'm back with the finished product. <coughs> Subscriber told me if I fry this this bread I had that was so chewy and put some eggs on top, some scrambled eggs or some bacon, and if I fried the bread, it would it would be a lot easier to eat. So that's what I did. I got that bread that I call it spotter bread. I don't know what kind it is, but with some scrambled eggs, I got some cheese melted on top. I got some good old bacon. We're going to see if it's any easier to eat or chewier or whatever. It is a kind of a cheap eats Wednesday. Uh, bacon was on sale for three ninety nine, dollars was it? Mm -hmm. And uh, I already had the bread. I already had the bread and I used it two or three times. And the eggs. I already had the eggs. So really don't know, you know, you break it all down, it's it's pretty it's pretty cheap. Good tasting too. I probably should have put the eggs on the bottom and it I mean the uh, bacon on the bottom. Well what did it wouldn't be so pretty. Yeah. It's easier to eat this way with fork and mouth. I don't know if it's any less chewable, but it is good. Scrambled egg and bacon and cheese. Not 
looking pretty good actually. <laughs> Or what it is without the bacon, bacon down here in the plate. But. Mm. Not bad. Looks like it's gonna be quite filling. I did use four eggs. It was basically just a egg and cheese and bacon uh, open face sandwich. Stump is having some navy beans, some great northern. great northern beans, and some bacon and potatoes, which looks good too. I like this. It's kind of messy breaking it, cutting it up, but I think next time put the bacon on the bottom. Where's that on top? Right, good old bacon. I don't know how many of y'all got to watch the end of the NASCAR race the other day. There were a lot of pros and cons in what Austin Dillon did. Me personally, I think it was kind of wrong, but on the other hand, you, you know, you gotta do what you do to win. There's a lot of money involved, so. And it ain't nothing that Denny Hammond and uh, Joy O'Donnell hadn't done. Maybe not to that extreme, but. Because that is ain't bad. I had four strips of bacon on here. It really kind of falls off when you cut it, so. That's rain this morning. A little bit of sunshine, cloudiness. Pretty much the gambit. That's some of Mrs. Stump sweet tea. Mm. And we do have a lot of it. There's a whole half a pitcher full. That lasts what? A, a day and a half. A day and a half. <laughs> I have to make it almost every day. But I drink most of she it. She drinks most of it. I drink it every day. Sometimes I get my ginger ale, but usually I drink the tea. But it's good. Well, I kind of like the way this turned out. So 
say to me, thank you, subscriber, for telling me about it. Yep. I appreciate my subscriber telling me right now. I can't remember his or her name. But this turned out pretty good. Go ahead and end this one here. It'll be about a 10 minute video. Let me clean my greasy lips. There. I appreciate those that have subscribed. If you haven't subscribed, think about doing so. Excuse me. Appreciate y'all that watch. Hit the share button. Excuse me. Share button. Thumbs up. You know when you start belting stuff up, it's good. I belt Mrs. Stump's food up all the time, so it has to be great. Oh, gee. Huh? What's that? I said OG. Oh, huh? OG dolly. Mm -hmm. But anyway, don't have no uh, humorous things to say. You got anything to say? No, not right now. Got nothing right now. I bet if I do something wrong, she'll have something to say. Don't you do that again. You gonna clean that up? Yes, you are. You know, ain't that right? Yeah, I'm, that's right. That's how I am. You beat me with a whip. That's how I roll. Well, no comment. <laughs> but uh, anyway, uh, we'll see y'all. In the next video, <coughs> excuse me, give it a thumbs up, <coughs> and we'll see y'all, whoopee, on the flip side. Pokestar says goodbye. Check y'all later. Bye-bye. That was legitness. Yeah, it was.